Well, Greg, I, I think it starts uh, at the top, and uh, you know, I think Nick Saban is the head coach, and I always cringe when people want to blame the coordinators for everything, as if Nick Saban doesn't hire the coordinators, and Nick Saban doesn't uh, approve the game plans, <laughs> and Nick Saban doesn't uh, stand there with his with the headset on. So uh, that's being broad, but. I think that's what uh, Nick Saban gets credit when Alabama wins championships. You don't say, wow, that was a, a great uh, job by, by Pete Golding. Um, so, and as far as the players, I, I don't, I don't know where the disconnect is, uh, but, but ultimately, you know, they, they, sh- they shoulder some of the blame. Uh, I can't explain it, uh, you know, but, but I think it's self-evident that there, there are issues. There have been issues all year long and every game there seems to be a different one, but, you know, some of them are pretty easy to see, and you guys are far more qualified to detect uh, the deficiencies than I am. But but uh, I think it's pretty fundamental football. It starts at the offensive line uh, off, uh, on the on the offensive side of the ball, and, and, and there's some real problems there.